How do you like these flowers? They're pretty. My mom, she gets out here soon. Coco, Mark never met your mother. You haven't? No. She never gets out of Arizona. I want her to live the New York lifestyle for a week. That's cool. You know? She's a homebody. She's very organic, makes a lot of tea. What do you mean makes tea? If like you have a headache, she's got the right tea holistic. for you. Yes. And one thing about my mom, she's spiritual that way. And mom and I and my sister were really into ghosts. And we have seen things that are unexplained. Oh, Lord. Some stuff has happened to me. Oh, too. I'm through. I was in summer camp one year. Oh, <laughs> summer camp. Listen you to him. Gonna... I must have been 12 years old. My counselor said, look, this is the anniversary of when one of the camp kids went missing. Later on that night, we heard banging against the cabin. We were in the same cabin as this kid. One kid started crying. It was a counselor. Was I can't control myself. It was a counselor. How long? I, I mean, how hard is it to scare some 12-year-old kid? Hey, can you let him please tell his story? My theory on ghosts is I've never seen a ghost. I'm one of those kind of people that I guess you would call a skeptic. You don't have anything happen to you because you turn that vision off. If you're skeptical, you'll see what's really going on around you, which is nothing. Coco, I'll protect you from a ghost. I'm the ghost killer. Let something come run up in this spot. I got ready. You cannot use a weapon on ghosts. They'll disappear on your ass. My ghost will feel this. Trust me, I ain't afraid of nothing up in this mother what? I'm so upset that you don't want to come with me to the salsa class. Coco, I don't need to go to a salsa class. I already told you I'm a professional salsa dancer. I'm a world champion. I tell Coco I'm an expert at everything. Now, some things I am good at, so what I do is I mix them in with my lives so she never knows what I really can and can't do. OK, I've been hearing I, this, honey. No. I had trophies you for tango trophies. in Argentina. You did not lose any trophies. Me being a champion is just a way of me getting out and going to the lessons. You know, you need to go to salsa lessons. Now, I already know I'm a champion. Then show me something. Show me something. All I got is, let me show you something. I got something right here. These shoes right here were given to me at the World Salsa Championships in Mexico City. Those aren't salsa shoes. Those yeah, are they not. daddy pimp shoes. Guacamole gators. Guacamole, not guacamole. Guacamole. You can't even say it right. Guacamole salsa. Watch this salsa have... move. That's not how you salsa. This ain't salsa. You're supposed to swoosh. Look at this move. Help me pick out a dress here. I mean, why do you need a particular dress to go to a class anyway? Because it has to be all fluffy and poofy so you can shake the booty. In See? class? In class. So I'm thinking. That's too short. You haven't even seen it yet. How about like? Hell no. That's shorter than the other one. This is a salsa dress. My boobs can be there. What's your boobs got to do with salsa dance? It's sexual movement, honey. You're you're letting your, your body speak without having it talk. <sighs> that says salsa. Did you see that? That's some of my <laughs> You can't see the hips. The hips is gone. The hips is out of control right now. You're going to be surprised. I'm going to come home. You know what I'm doing. Look. Look over here. Out of control. My hips is going crazy. I'm feeling sexy already thinking about it. See, you just went to the boobs. All right. So where do you want right. me? I want you right here. Right we're here gonna, in front right, of the class. No, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna meld. We're gonna blend. <laughs> Come up, join us. All right. So we're gonna start off first. Left, right, left, right. A little easy handhold. We're gonna get a little closer. Ooh. Jules is an amazing instructor. You know, you're moving your bodies near each other. You have to become close really, really quick. It's like, you know, going to a gynecologist. What? What? Whoa, how? Well, they're not similar in the fact they do the same thing. It's funny I've... you would draw those, conclude those connections. If you say the plumber's like the gynecologist, oh, well, then I'm we got our eyes gonna hear the on the end of plumber. This, if you say the cable man's kind of like the gynecologist, well, then I got my eye on the damn cable man. Hi, friends.
brought the warm weather in from Arizona just for my Coco. Yes, you did. Yes, actually. I did. <laughs> My mom's out here in New York for a fun-filled weekend. And while she's here, she's coming to my first book signing. I'm so excited. I'm going to take you to a book expo. You remember I wrote that fictional book? Yeah, but I didn't know you were you had a book signing. You didn't tell me that. I think you need just to know what I do on my daily life. Like, that's one thing I do. For the past year, I've been writing this book called Angel. It's a paranormal novel about a woman who shapeshifts to solve mysteries. Ice has written a lot of books, and he always says, write about what you know. And this was a perfect opportunity for me to open up about that world. There's Ellis Island over there. That's where your grandparents stopped, Coco. If you went there, you would see their names. Oh, really? Yeah. My grandma was the first person to engage my mom my sister and I into the whole ghost world and was very involved in mediums. My grandma was basically my heart and then she passed away. That was the hardest thing I think I've ever been through. I started taking salsa lessons. Oh, how fun. Tell me about it. It's all very spiritual. You have to feel what the Next move is gonna be Jules, my instructor. He has that little vibe, like, come with me and salsa with me. He's like, feel my touch, feel my touch. And I'm like, yes, I'm feeling it. Does he actually yeah, actually, the steps? Well, he, he just kind of gets you. Well, like, he, he, he does, like, things like the booty roll. Booty roll, booty roll. <laughs> and then act like I'm a guy. Feel my vibe. He does a lot of touching. Salsa is a lot of touching. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> one thing about ice is people always say, well, you're not very jealous. Well, that's one side of me, but I'm a man, too. I'm hot. It's hot in here, right? Well, I think you're getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you, and you said, fine. I didn't know you all was going to be doing a booty roll. Coming up. He said that I've done so good that I should come try salsa night. Surprise! Well, I'll give you guys a reading. Your grandma is very much still with you. Yes. And is that who you want to contact? Oh, mm -hmm. gosh. Jules, my instructor, he's like, feel my touch, feel my touch. And I'm like, yes, I'm feeling it. I'm so excited for the next time. When are you supposed to take your next class? Actually, there's a class tomorrow. If you're interested, I would love to go. Maybe I'll go, too. I think Coco's trying to get a reaction out of me. She wants to see how I feel about her and this dance instructor. I'll just be in the cut, flying the wall. Well, do you ever miss Arizona? I mean, I know you miss everybody, but do you ever miss a quieter life? I think so, but then when we go to Arizona or on vacation, yeah. I feel like it's too quiet and I want to come back to New York. You want to try this protein powder, Coco? That yeah. looks nasty, Mom. Well, it's it's not melting as fast as it normally does. Is that milk? No, it's not milk. Just protein. Just taste. No. Come no. On, Coco. That looks nasty. Well, ass. it's just not melting like it should. You smell it. Oh, it doesn't smell. Like oh, it. Mom, that smells like no, you are, raw you're, fish. It's stuck in the straw. Oh. oh, get away, get away, get away. My mom and I are extremely close. We're like, best friends. We have experienced a lot of weird things. Ghosts, and I can call mom any time of the day, say, oh my god, mom, I just, I just felt this, or I just saw this. I can't do that with ice. He'll think I'm crazy. If you ever want to think you're sane, just call it the insane asylum. It's a generational thing. Mama had it. And it's just in our household, it was like walking up the steps and you'd say, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, because the spirits would be lining the stairs, but we just considered that normal. Do you remember that stalker ghost? Remember the stalker? Oh, God, Coco. Yeah, the pervert ghost. You remember that him, a, right? Well, you told me about it, and that creeps me out. That's a lower-level spirit. And, and I think he's followed me from house to house. Oh, no. Is he still here? You know how I did the Ouija board thing? When I did that, I opened up a tunnel. But Ice doesn't believe me. Even if he hears something, he shuts it down like something fell or something. You know, I want something to happen to him. I wish, like, a ghost tripped him or something. 
basically in your face, I'm here. Trips him, and then he'll be like, oh, damn. Ready, five, six, ready, and. If you really want to get the dancing going, yeah. go out dancing. Yeah, I'd love to. No, women want to feel their man is a little jealous. They don't want to be controlled, but then if you give them too much freedom, then they'll feel you don't care. You have to play that fine line. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my God, that was so much fun. You're good. You seem like the teacher's pet. I know, I've been his partner. I'm seeing, I'm noticing, very but good. But guess what? Right. He said that I've done so good that I should come try salsa nights. Sounds like fun. I went to watch the salsa class because I knew Coco wanted me to go to that damn salsa class. If I'm getting one of my cars worked on, she'll sit in the room while the car is getting fixed at the shop for five, six hours. So I said, let me take notes, watch this man's feet, watch the footwork. Back to the basic. Here we go. And there's a dance that we did in the black community called the cha-cha. And in Chicago, there's a dance that they call stepping. Yes, yes, yes. A little hip. Two. Salsa is actually more simple, so I'll be able to show her a step or two. Woo! Do you like my title, Angel? Of course I do. I knew you loved that. I have angels all over my house. That's why I dedicated the book to you and I Chris. Know. Thank you. And without me actually believing in ghosts, I wouldn't have written that book because it's about a superhero ghost. She's a real life human and she's a shapeshifter. It's honestly my fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> thought we'd be at a book signing place. Never. Going to a book signing is always cool. You get to see your fans, and you're just signing and signing. Thank you. Have fun. But this one is fun because I get to see Coco sitting beside me, and she's signing books, too. Aww. And also, you'll be able to massage my hands afterwards, you know, because it gets cramped. You know? OK, I know where this is going. Thank you so much. OK, this is a gangster book. You know that, right? <laughs> this is not just a book signing. This is book expo. There is just some fabulous authors hanging around. And you're one of their peers now. You're an author. And you had a pretty big line. That, that was probably the finest moments I've had in my life. Yeah, well, you know, chalk it up. It's another one. Oh, wait a second. James Von Prague. Who's that? He's, he's like a uh, psychic guy. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Can we go? Can we go fast? No, I'll chill. OK. James Von Prague is one of my idols. I read all his books. My mom loves him. It's just really a dream come true to finally get to meet him. I feel like I'm going to pee my pants. Why are you so squeezing my arm like I that? I can't like, help it, Coco. Do we look stupid? Don't yeah. look stupid. No, OK. okay. We look stupid. Yeah, we do. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Oh my God, Coco. Coco, well, hi Coco, nice to meet you, very pretty. I can't believe you're like standing right in front of me. I don't get giddy about this many people. When I saw the way Coco and her mother reacted to James Bond Prague, it was crazy. I mean, that's not my thing, but it's obviously their thing. So it gave me an idea. Oh, Spart, he threw up. Oh, Spart. Oh, he's licking it. Oh, oh no. Oh. It's dripping all over the ah. oh. Protein shake. It's good for you. Oh. Ew. oh. Ew. Don't pee your pants over there, Mom. I don't have to clean that up, too. Mom still loves you. Oh, Coco, ew! God, you kissed him. Boom. No, ew, it cleans Coco. their mouth, Mom. His mouth is clean now. It's oh. Oh, so gross. Hi, I wonder who this is, Coco. Are you expecting anybody? Oh, Surprise! Oh James Von Prague is not in my house right now. Coming up. So should we start? Yes. Okay. Do you see anything about me and kids? 
Hi. <laughs> Wonder who this is, Coco. You expecting anybody? Oh. Surprise. James Von Prague is not in, in my house right now. Come on in. Oh, my God. So I'm in the Greenwood. You asked him to come? I asked him oh. personally. What he did for me was equivalent to somebody walking up to me in a public place and saying, Ice, my wife's a big fan of yours. Would you come over to my house tonight and sing Six in the Morning in our kitchen? Are you serious? <laughs> Dude did it. <laughs> Bravo. I can't believe you're well, here. You guys are reading, and I'll explain to you how it all works. That is awesome. This is so exciting. Look, you guys sit down and enjoy okay. yourself. I'm going to take Spartacus upstairs so you guys can have a little privacy. Spartacus. Coco believes in ghosts. I don't. So our family split like this. She's a vegetarian, I eat meat. So therefore, we could split a meal. The problem is, is when the vegetarian tries to make me eat vegetables. That's so like the ghost say, believer be trying to get me to believe no, in ghosts. you cannot eat meat. Every yes, you can. Yes, no, you can. you need can. to mix it up with a little salad, no. and you're going to live longer. Who's going to live longer? How you know you're going to live longer? I've already outlived you. So should we start? Yes. OK. If you guys will remember everything I tell you, because okay. I'm not going to remember anything. You step aside. I step aside. Now, your dad has passed over. Correct. Because your dad just came in right here to your <gasps> right side. God, I don't know. Oh, my God. Do you use your uh, spirit guide? Do you I actually just... see our spiritual guides? Do you see my totem? But I, I don't need you to just calm down. Just relax. OK. I haven't started psychic level on you yet. Let me just see what's going on here. You're someone who, the bird with the broken wing, you go right there, you help them out. Yeah. It frustrates you to no end that people see you one way when you're not that way. You're very different. Totally. You gotta be careful of your feet. My feet? Okay, your feet. Do you ever do modeling for feet? I like your modeling shoes. Shoe company. I think so, that would be so great. You see? Yeah, she your just, own shoe company. I'm, I'm obsessed with shoes. I love it, you're obsessed with shoes. Mm -hmm. Your grandma is very much still with you. Yes. And is that who you want to contact? <laughs> Yeah, because that's who I was closest to. Because I get a grandma here who knows you very, very well. Yes. And she wants me to give you her love. Oh, gosh, don't. <laughs> no, yeah, don't. It's OK don't, to cry. Don't. You know, um, tears release the soul, cleanse the soul. And the reading is as much for them as it is for you. So they might say things they need to say, which they haven't said. And did she die in a hospital? Yes. Because she's talking about that. Mm, hold on. You weren't there when she passed? No. For a long time, she said, you really beat yourself up for not being there. Yeah, I told him, yeah, I did. It's OK you weren't there. You need to forgive yourself for that one. OK. I do believe in divine intervention. I don't believe in accidents. Things happen for a reason. OK. Do you see anything about me and kids? Mm -hmm. You can have as many kids as you really want. You're fertile, Myrtle. <laughs> What does that mean? When you want to, when the time is right. And um, there's a little boy spirit waiting to come through ice. A boy? I wanted a girl, but <laughs> maybe I can talk to them and change it up. <laughs> All right. And I'll um, think of names. <laughs> I am so glad Mom was here to just do the things I normally couldn't do with ice. I see James from Prague. For someone to walk in your door, it'd be like. Yeah, like if Michael Jordan walked in. If he walked through the door, I how would you feel? I just brick. Well, then I. Bricks at that moment. I mean, it was like almost too perfect. That should be like some bonus points I should have. You want little credit tucked No, I want side. gold credit to the side. Wow. Well, I'm, thank you so you're much. Welcome. You're I'm welcome. Really pretty, well, nice to meet you, honey. Here we go. You're going to have fun tonight. Yes, I'm so excited. Yes, that's why I'm all dressed up. Salsa dancing. Salsa dancing. Whenever your woman says something that she wants to do and you tell her no, that doesn't mean she doesn't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. She may decide to try to find somebody else to accommodate her. 
It took a lot of balls to walk into that salsa class, but I knew he did it for me, and that was just really sweet. Gold bonus points. See? World champion, baby. <laughs> well, it's not world champion, but this will do. Will it do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Watch this. Me? What? Come here! What's the matter? Watch. Watch what? The lights. They're gonna go up and down. Watch. Just sit here. Do you feel like the energy? Coco, you're bugging. That dude bugged you out. He didn't bug me out. I what just happened? woke I up. I was sleeping. What's the, matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? I swear to God, it's, it's freaky. Go off? It's freaky. It's freaky. Well, like this? You had that the whole time? <laughs> Oh, I hit you right now. <laughs> Maybe the ghost knows how to work a remote control. <laughs> if there's ghosts around, levitate me. If you can levitate me an inch off the bed, well, you already know how to do that. That doesn't require ghosts. <laughs> I hate you. Ghosts, the paranormal. <laughs> oh, hell no. What the hell? <laughs> the next episode of Ice Loves Coco. That is hot. When we got married, we eloped in Vegas. But now it's 10 years. It's time to do something nice with family. You pick the friends. food, you pick the color, you pick the lighting. Can a n have a stage that spins? Like a car show? Wow. <laughs> Give me some love, homie. Give me some Little love. Ice and I have more of a friend relationship. So it was really difficult for me as a stepmom. The doctor's telling me that I can't go to your wedding. Is something wrong with the baby? He saved my life. <laughs>